you can get to the conference finals a la the Atlanta yeah. Hawks with like playing very mid teams. And so that's kind of what y'all are doing right now. And I think what right. this is setting up for y'all up for is what happened to the Atlanta Hawks three years ago when they made the conference finals and they never got back. Another team to oh, give whoa, you whoa, some whoa, perspective whoa, whoa. on Hold this. On. Nope, but one second. Another team that did this to give you some perspective on this was the uh, Portland Trailblazers years ago when they had Al Farouk Aminu, Alan Crabb, all those guys. They had all those guys, and they went to the conference finals, and we swept them pretty much without Steph Curry. It was a fluke. And so that's what the Knicks are setting y'all up for right now, and it'll be probably another 15 years of misery that we all will sit around and laugh at Knicks fans. All right. S.A., first give me your reaction. He's supposed to be my brother. Supposed to be my brother right there. My little bro Draymond Green doing that to me. I mean, it, it, it hurt. It hurt real bad. I will say this, though. <clears throat> I think he's wrong to compare the Knicks to the Atlanta Hawks, Portland Trailblazers. They didn't have 11 first-round picks over the next seven years. They didn't have the assets necessary to go out there and acquire an additional player to buffer this roster. So I disagree with him with that. Knicks ain't going to be Atlanta. Knicks ain't going to be Portland. Where they are right now, remember, they're in the Eastern Conference semifinals. I think this is a place that they'll be at for the foreseeable future. Now, whether that's going to equate into a conference finals or an NBA finals is a different matter. But I think they'll be a playoff team, and I don't think they're just going to disappear and fade into oblivion. The only thing that I will say in all seriousness, Draymond Green has earned the right to say that. He's a four-time champion. And the brother's 34. Now, damn it, the New York, the New York Knicks ain't won the championship since 1973. This brother got four in his 34 years on this earth. He has earned the right to say what he said. It hurts, but he's earned the right. I mean, what did he say? What did he say? It, Besides the New York this, Knicks, but so you think the New York Knicks this season, it's a fluke run because the path through the Eastern Conference is not as tough as some of the stuff out West, which I believe is well, true. I don't think it's a fluke, but it is tougher in the West than it is in the East. It, it is that, but that's a lazy-ass take by Draymond Green. Let me say that first and foremost, okay? Because when you look at – what? 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 Why got what? to be What's, lazy? Why can't Why what? can't he just have his opinion? Why got no, to be lazy? Because why call it a fluke? Like why call it a fluke when when we're looking at a team that was built the right way? When it comes down to the culture, when we look at Leon Rose and World Wide West going out there and hiring Tom Thibodeau, when we're watching them go out there and sign uh, Jalen Bronson, who one have been saying has been what? One of the best off-season signings in probably in what the last four or five years, to be honest. And then going trade. Do you do do we have a graphic on what they traded to get Josh Hart there? And then getting Dante in there, and also Can't getting the. Uh, okay, my point exactly. So now all of a sudden you look at it, what they're doing right now without their other all-star in Julius Randle. And they're making waves. And they're only going to continue to get better. And you, and you know the beautiful thing about the New York Knicks and the position that they're in? Their books are not cooked. You talk about all the first-round picks that they have. They also have the, the money to do certain things. And on top of that, they're like me, Stephen A., Molly, Janae. They're eye candy. They're eye candy to the rest of the league. Because a lot of – look, the, in the all next right. few years, in the next few years, they're going to have this grunt of superstars that are going to want out. We don't know what's going to happen with the Milwaukee Will you stop? Bucks. Just stop. Well, stop. You just, you, stop. you stop right. You, you got Molly and Janae right there, and you going to call yourself eye candy. Just stop. I am. Just stop. I am. Just stop it. I am. Just stop I am. it. But, hold on. but let me finish. Let me finish, because you know I'm right. You know I'm right. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. He is, yeah, you though, Stephen A., but I, I think am you're right. close to the sun to uh, Hold on, so now I want you to follow up because I know you, you got me on this. Thank anyway, you. we know we don't know what's about to happen with Giannis and Dane, right? Giannis is unpredictable at this point. He may want out. Guess where he can end up? 
in New York. They're eye candy right now. Was it a fluke when Jalen Brunson was in Dallas and Luka sat out and he dropped 40 and Luka said, I oh. knew he was going to be a star in that moment? Was it a fluke the last two seasons in which Jalen Brunson has led the postseason in fourth quarter scoring and also clutch time? Was it a fluke when they chose to get OG Ananobi, who was the championship piece in Toronto and brought him over to New York? Was it a fluke when Josh Hart oh. and D Vincenzo both have rewritten how you can win in this league, going with compliments that are really stars. In do the I get a chance to answer any of these? Because this Perkins question marks attached to it. Do I get a chance to answer any of these? Because you got question he, marks for a lot of them, but go ahead. Finish. Hold on, Sonoma. Yeah, ahead. let her finish. My whole is point she, here, here is that this I'm team, the, was it a fluke when they went up against Joel Embiid, who even though he was on one leg, was still dropping 50 and doing great things, and they had to win it out also with a guy who was peaking in Tyrese Maxey? That's no walk in the park. That is someone who last year was the MVP. Yes, we all know that he was dealing with some situations, but that's not an easy opponent. So, yeah, maybe it's not as tough as the West, but the Knicks have dealt with less and done more, and so I don't think it's a fluke. I fully believe that the New York Knicks, with the East being open, if the Celtics aren't able to capitalize on things, they will be at the top of the top. They will. And if they're able to add another piece, which they have the ability to do, they have all the pieces to be a championship squad. Now, Stephen A., I understand your feelings. I understand your emotions because you've come yeah. so close in building this team and you want to see it to fruition. The win has already been made for New York. We all know they're stacked up against it, especially with the Pacers. If they were to advance, it's still a win for them this season. But the Can eyes I are respond? on the future. The eyes are on the future, so I didn't like, where, 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 I didn't where, like that assessment where, where, of the Knicks. It hurt where, my feelings. Where, where are you from? I'm from Houston. I have no dog in this fight. Tell me, tell me, tell me. You're from Houston. And don't get me started with that brother right there from Beaumont that's trying to act like he's some native New Yorker. You see, it's real easy for y'all to sit up there with y'all stuff, right? Y'all have not suffered. You have not seen this franchise sabotage itself. Time and time and time again, spanning decades. Now let's dissect and remind you what I said about Draymond. I disagree with him. I specifically said that. I started off that. But what I said was, let's not act like he don't had a right to his opinion and, and, and that it isn't substance or credence to it. The reality is, you can look at Atlanta and Portland like he just did, or what you could do, if we being real about it, when Miami got a hold of you last year, they sent you home. That was with Julius Randle on the floor, with Mitchell Robinson, with Julius Randle and stuff like that, right? This year, Joel Embiid on one leg. What if that had not happened? You got people that's asking that question now. You've got this second round series against Indiana. Okay, Indiana is a team that if you're loaded enough, you should be able to beat. Nobody's expecting them to beat Boston. And oh, by the way, if Jimmy Butler in Miami, Pat Riley was right to say what he said about Jimmy. But Jimmy, we can't definitively say he was wrong about what he had, what he had said. If he were healthy, what they would have done in terms of the Knicks. This is how they feel. I'm just saying if you're Draymond Green and you're giving that take, Okay, you could disagree with it, but this is a four-time champion that gave us a, a take I disagree with, but it's still a take. I'm not going to call it lazy perk because it came with substance now. Come on now. If you well, disagree, you disagree. Well, what was but the substance? He has credence to I'm his argument. Now, I know they're dealing with injuries or whatever, but all they've been doing is shutting a lot of people up. Matter of fact, Draymond Green picked the 76ers to beat the Knicks. And what happened? Jalen Bronson has been the best player in the Eastern Conference. Jalen Bronson has been the best player in the postseason. He's leading the league in scoring in the postseason. He's the best closer in the game when it comes to closing in the fourth quarter. That's why he's leading the league right now in fourth quarter points. This organization is not the old New York Knicks. They are trending in the right direction. And when you compare him And to I'm Atlanta, telling you, until the – it's easy for you to say, damn it, until they get to a point where they get over that hump. It's not – Good enough, because James Dolan is the owner. And that means at any given moment, something can happen. That is our experience in New York City.
You don't get to sit up there and gloss over that when you were in Beaumont, Texas, or then you went to the pros and you went in championships in Boston when you were kicked in the Knicks' ass en route to doing it, when you go to two finals in three years, where were they? Where were they? You talking to me about, you in, you in Texas, and then you sit there and you got your girl Janae and y'all Houston connection or the, or, or, or the Texas connection, and y'all talking smack like y'all were here in a city suffering like us. You wore it. You weren't there. And so Draymond speaking about a fluke, let me tell you something. We're not sitting up here and saying these Knicks are a fluke. We're saying, oh, my God, the path that you're on, the trajectory, please don't change. Please, Dolan, don't get in the way. Don't do something stupid. Don't sit up there and create the long headlines. Don't sit up there and discombobulate everything because your ego gets in the way of your basketball personnel. Please don't let the business of Madison Square Garden infiltrate back basketball operations and contaminate everything around them. That's what we're saying. You don't get to sit up there and come at us and talk about what we ain't supposed to be doing. We've been here suffering. Take a breath. We've been here suffering. Take a breath.